Hello, this is Sophie from Native Instruments. In this video, I'll explain how to use machine scene trigger feature in Ableton Live. This is a great feature as it lets you arrange your machine scenes within your host instead of in the machine interface. In Ableton Live, we've already created some music bounced to an audio track. Machine is loaded as a VST plugin on a MIDI track. As you can see, we have two 808 drum patterns assigned to scenes one and two. Our aim is to trigger these drum patterns at various points over the course of the song by programming MIDI notes in Ableton Live's timeline. Click the arrow next to your machine project name and select Scene MIDI Settings. In the new window which opens, check the box labelled Enable located in the Status section. In the Input section, check the option labelled MIDI Note. When this button is checked, scenes will be controlled by incoming MIDI notes. By default, the MIDI channel is set to 1 and the root note to C-2. This means the first scene in the machine arranger will be triggered by the note C-2, the second by C-2, the third by D-2 and so on. We'll leave these values set to default for this example. Click OK to close this window. In our song, we only want to bring in the drums after four bars. As the machine will always run in sync with your host, it's necessary to create an additional pattern not containing any notes. This pattern, which will assign to scene three, will be triggered in the drum free parts. Make sure the pattern's length is set to one bar. The trigger note for scene 3 is D-2, so each time this note is played in Live's arrangement, our empty pattern will be played. We'll rename this scene to Silence. You can adjust the scene sync setting to influence the trigger timing. Feel free to play around with the different sync settings and see how machine behaves. For example, you may not want a specific scene to fire off immediately after its note is triggered you might want it to wait until the next bar. If that's the case, set the quantization value to one bar. In this example, we'll set the timing to one eighth. Close the machine interface. Create a MIDI clip in Live's machine track. Double click the clip to access the MIDI note editor. We'll use this clip to trigger scene one in machine containing our first drum pattern. As the trigger note for scene one is C minus two, program this note at the start of the MIDI clip. Create another MIDI clip and program the note C sharp minus two. This note will trigger scene two containing the second drum pattern. Create one final MIDI clip and program D-2, which will trigger scene 3 containing silence. We now have three MIDI clips which can be used to trigger the various machine scenes. It's important machine does not receive MIDI information from other sources other than the above mentioned MIDI notes we just programmed. So make sure you have not routed any MIDI tracks in Ableton Live to machine. Now we'll place the MIDI clip assigned to scene three, our silence, on the first bar of the song. The MIDI clip assigned to scene one will be placed on the fifth bar. This will trigger drum pattern one. 
We'll place the MIDI clip assigned to scene two on the ninth bar, which will trigger drum pattern two. Now press play. As you can hear, the MIDI clips are triggering their respective scenes from within the Ableton Live arrangement view. <laughs> 